It's that time again. Another update to the top 5 mini PC list. Never an easy list to put together, and this one took even longer than usual. Why is the fifth one always so difficult? Anyway, to make it into the top 5, the mini PC must have been reviewed on the channel and must be available on Amazon.com. This time the minis are chosen as the best in their price category. You can find the in-depth reviews and affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy from my affiliate links gives me a small cut at no cost to you and is the main reason this channel is viable with virtually no sponsorship. So thank you. And with all that out of the way, let's start with the best mini PC under 400 US dollars. Returning once again is the AU Star Gem 12 mini PC. It's even more attractive at just 350 bucks. It features the 8 core 16 thread AMD Ryzen 6900HX, which is still a pretty powerful processor capable of many tasks from light gaming to 4K video editing. And it's all housed in a nice metal case. For the price, the Gem 12 comes with 512GB of storage and 16GB of RAM. This mini gets a lot right. It performs well, has good cooling and low fan noise. That's not as common a combination as it should be. It makes the Gem 12 a great pick for anyone really. However, what's impressive for the price is that it comes with both USB 4 and Oculink allowing you to connect an external graphics enclosure with a dedicated graphics card for some serious gaming or other compatible devices. If you're not planning to use an eGPU, the onboard Radeon 680M graphics makes for a decent eSports box and can play some well-known games at 30fps 1080p low. But it is starting to show its age. The 6900HX handles 4K video editing pretty well too. If you want more storage, there's an additional M.2 Gen 4 NVMe slot which doesn't need to be sacrificed for the Oculink port like it does with some other minis. Included is a VESA mount, compact USB-C power supply, spare heatsink for the SSD and HDMI cord. So everything is looking pretty good right? But its biggest downside is wireless range which is below average and really depends on how far you are from the router. Those using wired internet are fine either way. So well done to A-Star for taking out the best mini PC under 400 US dollars with a Gem 12. B-Link Sir 8 is also back on the list. What's this? The third time? Yeah, it really is that good. The Sir 8 features a nice sleek premium metal case and has excellent performance with very low fan noise and CPU temp. Sound like the Gem 12? Sure, but it does it even better. In fact, the Sir 8 is unbeaten in fan noise for its size and performance as long as you stick to the default power mode in the BIOS. That being said, the Sir 8 does lack dual 2.5 gigabit LAN and Oculink if you're looking for those ports, which is an area where the Gem 12 has it beat. It also comes with few accessories. While I tested the Sir 8 with AMD's Ryzen 8845HS CPU, B-Link has since updated it with the 8745HS, which is a very similar CPU performance wise with slightly worse AI capabilities. But I think the price drop is well worth it. You can find the Sir 8 bundled with a 1TB SSD and 32GB of DDR5 memory for just under 500 US dollars. A second Gen 4 M.2 slot is available if you need additional storage. Although, you have to get past some annoying glued on rubber feet to access it. The Sir 8 does have one flaw which stopped it from being a complete winner, and that is wireless and Bluetooth range, which was poor. If you're not aware already, you can buy an inexpensive USB wireless dongle for an easy fix. Not ideal, but this is unfortunately a problem still found in too many mini PCs. Alternatively, the Mini's Forum UM870 is an honourable mention without wireless problems. Still, when it comes to overall value and performance, the B-Link Sir 8 is hard to beat. So well done to B-Link for taking the best Mini under 500 US dollars. GMK Tech has been pumping out loads of Mini PCs, but the K8 Plus is my favourite from the company. It's another one with a metal case, interesting translucent top lid design, 
and will appeal to those needing a mini PC with similar performance to the B-Link Sur 8, but with Oculink and dual 2.5 gigabit LAN. It comes in at 519 US dollars, which gets you a one terabyte SSD and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Inside this one is AMD's Ryzen 8845HS, a similar CPU to the one found in the Sur 8 with the same Radeon 780M integrated graphics. Jim Katex K Plus improved fan noise over previous models, except in idle, where it's higher than the competition. It has two M.2 slots for storage and a separate Oculink port. However, its biggest downside is poor Bluetooth and wireless range. Yep, it's another one. The placement of the antennas is not good and possibly the cause. That aside, the GMK Tech K Plus is a good mini PC. If you're wanting an Oculink port and better CPU performance than the AU Star Gem 12, this one should be on your radar. And that's why it's my pick for the best mini PC under 600 US dollars. If you want to really game on a mini PC, you need a powerful GPU. While integrated graphics are progressing in leaps and bounds, you're better off going for something larger with a dedicated graphics chip. And one of the only options under the 700 US dollar mark is the AU Star Gods. Yes, that's with a Z or Z depending on where you're from. The Gods has an AMD Radeon RX 6600 LE mobile graphics chip with 8GB of VRAM, which easily beats similarly priced minis with integrated graphics in the gaming department. Instead of 1080p low detail, we can increase modern games to 1080p high and still get a better frame rate. Much better in some cases. Some titles can be pushed to 1440p resolution, such as eSports or simpler AAA games. A-Star's Gods comes in at under 3 liters in volume and is portable if you want to move it around. Thankfully, a compact power supply is included. The Gods is available for 689 US dollars for the one terabyte SSD, 32 gigabyte RAM combo. Although there's a cheaper option with half the storage and memory as well. And if you want to add even more storage, you can with a second M.2 Gen 4 slot available. Cooling is handled by a total of three fans on both sides of the mini and overall it performs well. The material and build quality is nice with metal making up the majority of the exterior, which is why external antennas are included. As with all minis, the Gods is not perfect. And while wireless range was fine, Bluetooth range was short, and fan noise is higher than I'd like when the system is pushed. It's not terrible, matching a couple of other mini gaming PCs, but something to keep in mind if you're sensitive to fan noise. There's not much competition for something like A-Star's Gods at this price point, so if you're looking for a gaming mini PC under 700 US dollars, well, this is it. So well done to A-Star for taking out another spot. I was hoping something like the B-Link Sur 9 or the GMK Tech Evo X1 would have dropped in price somewhat after 6 months, but unfortunately that's not really the case. So instead of the best mini PC under 800 or even 1000 US dollars, we're jumping up to the best mini PC under 1100 dollars. And that's the Minis Forum Adaman G7PT. Another quote unquote gaming mini PC, but it's a powerful computer for any use. This one features a 16 core 32 thread AMD Ryzen 7945HX and a Radeon 7600M XT graphics chip which in my testing held up very well against the RTX 4070 mobile found in the ASUS ROG NUC. And that mini PC costs almost an extra 800 US dollars. Although when it comes to aesthetics, the LED lights and logo designs on the G7PT are ugly compared to the ASUS unit. Thankfully you can remove the logo masks or disconnect the LED lights from inside to turn them off. The biggest disappointment with the G7PT is its port selection. There's no USB 4 or Oculink and only 6 USB ports which for such a large mini is pretty meager. The good news is the price has almost dropped to 150 US dollars in 6 months and that gets you the 32GB RAM 1TB model. Build quality and design is a step up from previous Minis Forum gaming mini efforts 
and overall, it performs well. The G7PT is quieter under load than many mini PCs, but louder than most when idle. Unfortunately, unlike the AU Star Gods, this one comes with a chunky power brick. Also included is a premium metal vertical stand and HDMI cord. Those looking for the latest features such as an M.2 Gen 5 SSD slot and Wi-Fi 7 will find them here. The Outer Man G7PT supports two M.2 NVMe drives, so you can add additional storage. While Wi-Fi range was fine, Bluetooth was pretty short on my unit, similar to the AU Star Gods. Overall, Mini's forums Outer Man G7PT is a good gaming mini PC out of the limited options available and the lower price makes it even more attractive. So, there we have my top 5 picks for the first half of 2025. Before you make your decision, I highly recommend checking out the in-depth review to make sure it's what you're looking for. Also, thanks a lot for supporting the channel by using the affiliate links for anything you buy. If these minis are too powerful for your needs or too pricey, check out my updated top 5 mini PCs under $250 US right here for some great options. Cheers!